The very second build for Star Citizen Alpha 3.22 patch just hit Evo Kadi. And um, in this one, there's some more details pertaining to the salvage mechanic. Before we move forward, I'd like to give a big shout out to Elois to Jesus for being a new channel member. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate your support. Let's move on. So in this patch, we've gotten some more details pertaining to salvage structural here under the new features category here. So we're just going to go straight into it. It says implementing the ability to transform large chunks of metal salvage from ships into refinable material. So what it says here is structural salvage is the next step in the salvage profession. Initially, it will bring additional functionality to the two salvage ships, Drake Vulture and the Aegis Reclaimer. It will allow players to convert four ships into resources RMC and construction components that can be sold. It will also bring it will also bring an update to the way material is stored on salvage ships. It will introduce the concept of internal storage, which is a buffer in the ship that will fill. This buffer storage size will depend on the size of the salvage ship. Once full, the virtual storage needs to be emptied using the filler station. Before we move forward, I'd like y'all to know that this channel's goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And I cannot do it without you. If you do watch this content regularly, make sure to do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Let's move on. So it says here, salvage functionality is now split into multiple segments after entering salvage mode, which is the M keybind. The very first mode is hall scraping, which is what we're used to. This time you'll have to use a G key to activate hall scraping mode. The current salvage system to remove the hall from ships. If the hall is not scraped off, the material is lost in the process when moving on to step two and three. So it's going to be very important to make sure you do all the hall scraping first before moving on or else it's just going to be money you're throwing down the drain. So the second stage will be fracturing mode. This is the key button right alt and W. It says this mode will break up intact ships or derelict into smaller pieces. And the third mode is disintegration, which is right alt S and this mode will generate resources from the broken down pieces. Okay. So it says here to start fracture mode on a ship, point to the ship you want to fracture and enter fracturing mode. Once fracture mode has been started, the ship will then break apart in a certain period of time based on the size of the ship. To start this integration mode, point to the newly fragmented parts of the ship and engage in this integration mode to break apart the chunks and collect them into the salvage buffer storage of your ship. Once the salvage material fills the buffer storage, have the filler station fill a commodity box and move to the ship's cargo grid. Along with this, they have a caveat down here. It says, please note that this release structural savage animation and audio is not final. For this release, currently the reclaimer arm will not extend, causing savage mode to not activate. Please stick with the vulture for this release. In addition to this, there's a few bug fixes that we're going to go through here. The very first one, it says they fix an issue causing Crusader to spin faster than intended and break physics. And also they fixed an issue where mission markers are not being present. They fix an issue that causes the ground vehicles to vibrate continuously without stationary. Also the AR marker showing your assigned hangar does not appear. So that's a good fix. They also fix an issue pertaining to hair where the medium brown color is a replace me texture on the playboy hair on female head. So that's a good fix. They fixed an issue causing 29% higher entity count from 3.21 while loading into Orison. They also fixed an issue where the total cross section emission of target ship can increase to a larger than single largest CS axis value because it's inappropriately summed out of proportion. They also fixed an issue where you're unable to open the drop down menu when you right click any item in the inventory. They fixed an issue where the STV passenger seat cannot be interacted with. They also fixed an issue where the player cannot press W to leave the seat inside of a transit shuttle. They also fixed an issue where the button becomes error. Not all players are ready after selecting 
a vehicle this is an arena commander along with this they have two client crashes three server crashes a service crash and a client deadlock just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and better players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below make sure to leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video